One of the greatest investments we can make is in our health. With good health, it's easier to have well-being in other areas of life. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. We all have a responsibility to ourselves and our families to take our health seriously. Join me in discovering the latest in this vital industry. This is Health Briefs. Most of the drugs commonly in use today are pharmaceuticals that were invented in the 1960s to 80s. Referred to as small molecule drugs, these chemicals bind to specific receptors in the body, generally blocking them, and as such, when useful, are limited in their ultimate application. A new paradigm of medication delivery is through gene-based methods, and this technique has only begun to reveal what medical breakthroughs are possible in the next few years. A company in Finland is at the forefront of this work, FKD Therapies. FKD is a specialist gene medicine company based in Kuopio, Finland. And we're developing a new product called Instiladrin for refractory non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. This is where the patient has received all current gold standards and has failed. And so far, Instiladrin has performed very well in its clinical trials. And we're now in phase three development in the USA. The fourth most common cancer in the U.S., bladder cancer, affects about 70,000 new patients each year. Instiladrin, containing a gene called interferon alpha-2b, is inserted into a virus similar to the common cold that carries it to the diseased area where it is needed. Once it has entered the cell, the virus releases the gene, which causes those cells to become factories producing anti-cancer proteins, which also spread to adjoining cells. All of this can be critically focused on the lining of the bladder. Gene therapy is an experimental treatment in which vectors such as adenoviruses that contain therapeutic genes are delivered to patients to prevent or treat their disease. In the future, this approach may allow physicians to treat a disorder by inserting a gene into a patient's cells instead of using traditional drugs or surgical procedures. It's a field whose promise is only now being fully appreciated. Instiladrin has completed its first human studies, and together with an international collaboration of researchers, FKD has initiated a phase three study in the USA, which is now open and recruiting patients. In this ever shrinking world of faster and more pervasive transportation methods, no place can claim to be safe from illnesses that infect other parts of the planet. It has become increasingly apparent that global collaboration is the best way to battle the hard-to-treat diseases that plague mankind today. Meaningful collaborations are critical to make an impact in cancer therapy development. This international collaboration leveraged the expertise of FKD, who are world leaders in gene therapy, with the clinical experience of the Society of Urologic Oncology's Clinical Trials Consortium in order to take Instaladrin to a phase three registrational trial. FKD realizes that the most effective path to development and testing of new medications is through a solid alliance with the doctors involved. The clinical trials for Instiladrin are being conducted with full cooperation of the Society of Urologic Oncology, whose members are treating those who are suffering from this advanced form of cancer. This paradigm shift came from the understanding of human biology. So we know better now how the human body works and then when it goes wrong, where does the disease come from? So that's the big new change here. It's a mechanistic understanding of the disease. The small molecule treatments developed in the 1960s to the 80s were mostly effective in treating symptoms so that the patient felt better, while the basic condition remained largely unaffected. After a 25-year learning curve, these techniques are just beginning to make a tangible contribution to the practice of medicine. More effective medical treatments are being delivered directly to the disease, raising hope of one day being able to declare total cures instead of ongoing treatments. The shift in medicine that's currently occurring really matches biological compounds to the disease at the molecular biology level. And perhaps 20 years ago, there were diseases where no one could foresee a, a therapeutic solution. But with the new biologics coming in, like gene therapy, we can actually see effective cures for these in the not too distant future.
gene therapy has already begun to show promise in treating some of the most feared diseases. These new developments in medicine worldwide may prove to be a complete game changer for the field of medicine.